are going, going to leave Canadian Americans <clears throat> 17th, two days. So what do you think of this place? Huh? The Indians? Huh? What do you think? You want to ordain? No. <laughs> Hmm? For a longer time. Sir. What? For a longer period, we will come. Like 12 days uh, are too less. Like we understand. Yes. Only. That's right. <clears throat> At least three weeks, you know, before you can really get some results. Yeah. So, why do you go back? No, I'm going to Bodh Gaya. To Bodh Gaya? Yeah. Mm. To get some diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all the all the Thai monks, you know, who come back from 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 what guy, you know, are sick for two months. Yeah, <laughs> very bad diarrhea. <clears throat> so I mean, stay in a, uh, stay in a Thai monastery at least. There, the food is clean. <laughs> don't eat in the local shops. <laughs> and don't eat ice cream. <laughs> I mean, the, the Indians have a stomach for that, so I mean, <laughs> they have a special stainless steel stomach. <laughs> but Europeans normally don't have, and, and other Asians normally don't have. Yeah. <clears throat> and then, what do you do then? I'm thinking of coming back here. Okay. Um, it's always open. Huh? It's always open. Yeah, when you come back? Yeah, for a long time. For a long time. <laughs> long. Did you do your buddha? Then the blood pressure is going down. <laughs> if you don't do it, then it's still high. Yeah? <clears throat> All the excitement is caused by thoughts and memories. Huh? Yeah. Does he understand? <clears throat> what? He can live for a bit. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> what are you doing when you go back to? Where? where? Um, uh, You're a Canadian, yeah? I, I Toronto. Go back to work. You go back to work. Yeah. You have a family? Uh, my parents, my sister. Parents, sister. They can't look after themselves. I live by myself. Huh? I live by myself. You live by yourself? <clears throat> so you live to die, or? Yes. <laughs> I'm counting. What? When am I dying? We don't know. Maybe tomorrow? <laughs> How do we know? That's a good thing, you know. If we would know, you know, we die in three months, you know, we would be so worried, yeah? But if you die tomorrow, you know, we are just happy. 
<clears throat> so what do you want to do with your life, huh? <laughs> This life, next life, the life after that, huh? Life after life after life. Yeah? When you go back, yeah, go to a to, to an animal shop, you know, and look at the hamster wheel. Yeah, and then see yourself being in that hamster wheel, running, 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 and not going anywhere. Yeah. yeah? <clears throat> well, if you want to stay in that hamster wheel, at least you know, put some nice curtains and pictures in it, you know, <laughs> so that you have an illusion. <laughs> <laughs> or make the cage golden. There was a sutta, you know, about the bird who was caught in a golden cage with ex exceptional food, yeah. But there was another bird, you know, that was free, you know, and he always envied this bird, yeah. Who <laughs> was free, flying free around, yeah. <clears throat> Do you want to get stuck in the hamster wheel? I do meditate when I go back. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I do meditate an hour. I try to meditate an hour. Only an hour. I mean, you're alone, or do you have a boyfriend? I don't. You don't. So, what keeps you from practicing? <laughs> I work. I work long hours. What, what, what is your work? A bank, yes. you know the, the the ones with the money, or That's right. <laughs> they cheat all the customers. <laughs> I'm not cheating anyone. <laughs> no, <clears throat> I I didn't say that you. I said the banks. What I heard is in, in, in California they they want to open public banks. They don't live on interest. I mean, the, in in the Muslim countries there are banks, you know, who don't take interest and who don't give out interest. Yeah. So they are there for the people, no not for their CEOs. <laughs> <clears throat> But anyway, <laughs> so. What do you want to take with you? I mean, you know, there's a next life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah keep the five precepts, you know, and do a lot of good, you know, and then you might go to heaven first, yeah, and then after that to hell. Or you might want to go to hell first and then after that to heaven, yeah. I mean, that's when you listen to Lungta Mahaboa. He was, you know, he went up to heaven, you know, to this 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 realm in the heaven. And then he went down. After that was finished, he went down to hell, you know, in that realm. And then he went up to heaven again, you know, in that realm. And then to hell in another realm. And then to heaven up before he became a human being. That's quite a cold and hot shower. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> But that's. I mean, for for some people that is normal, yeah. For other people, you know, that's only human life hell, human life hell, human life hell, yeah. And that's not really fun, yeah. I mean, at least heaven, you know, it's a little bit better. <laughs> you can at least relax for a while. <clears throat> But that's the option we have, yeah. You have the option to stay in the in the hamster wheel or to get out, yeah. And now. With Buddhism still working, yeah, still teaching the way out, yeah. You don't know what is. Even if you come back as a human being in your next life, you don't know if Buddhism is around. Yeah? Maybe you were born in a country where there's endless war. Yeah. <clears throat> what that? What is Shaka? You worried or going up to going down to hell? Yeah, I mean we have been so often to hell. That's why we are so afraid of it. We know it so well. 
<laughs> Every one of us, and there is no exception. Yeah? When you think about Lungda Mahabua, I mean, he became in this life and around, but when he looked at his previous lives, and yeah, he saw it, how often he was in hell. Because we don't keep the five precepts all the time. Yeah, we break them, yeah. And especially when we're young, yeah, we are born, you know, in India, in Hinduism, yeah, and they don't know, yeah, <coughs> Or we were born in Germany or, or in Europe, you know, and don't know really the precepts, yeah, and don't keep them, yeah, because everyone around us doesn't keep them, yeah? So why should we keep them? <laughs> we look, normally we look, you know, what other people are doing, and that's what we are doing, yeah? <clears throat> we just follow the way to hell, yeah? And when you look at the, at the masses of the people, yeah, I mean, they're taking the fast road, yeah? They're taking the highway, yeah? Or the, in, in terms, we have even a faster one, autobahn, yeah? <laughs> the autobahn to hell, yeah? They can't get there fast enough. It's amazing, yeah? Because they don't know, they are not interested. The only thing they are interested in is money, yeah? Or power. <clears throat> and that's, that's where they end up, yeah? <clears throat> you look at all the politicians, you know, in all the world, you know, there's, I, I hardly think that there is any honest person there. So where do they end up? <laughs> Hell. <laughs> Some for a very long, very, very long time. Yeah. Others for a shorter time. <clears throat> so, I mean, the best choice that we have is, you know, at least try to make it out. Yeah? There's, you know, <clears throat> there's no guarantee that we can make it out, but at least, you know, we can go, you know, towards the gate, yeah? Maybe we can open it this life, you know. Maybe we're just in front of the gate so we can open it the next life, yeah? <clears throat> but if you, if you come here, if you find this monastery, I mean, there, there is a probability that you can open the gate, yeah? But you have to work very hard, yeah? It's not that you... Just like this, you know, you, I'm 14, 14 days here or three months here, you know, and then I go, yeah? Get out, no. <clears throat> look at the, look at the monks here. You know, I mean, I wonder if they have found the way out. No? <laughs> it's difficult. <No? clears throat> it's rather difficult. And and what you know, and what keeps us is the body. Yeah, we're only concerned about the body. Yeah, we wake up, you know, and then. We're concerned about the body to feed it, you know, to house it, to clothe it, to shower it, yeah, to wash away all the dirt that comes out of the body, yeah. And then we work, you know, in order to be, to maintain this body, yeah. And in the end, you know, all our work, yeah? in the end, we have to die. <clears throat> so don't don't spend too much time on your work, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Toronto is Canada. I mean, do they have the European? I don't know about yeah, the working conditions. Yeah? If you're in Europe, at least you know you have Saturday and Sunday off, you know, and you have six weeks of paid vacations. <clears throat> at least it used to be. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know what, what it is now. France, it used to be the same, yeah. France and Germany were the, the, the forerunners, yeah, in Sweden. Yeah. <clears throat> but I, I think they now take it away, slowly, slowly. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the Yellow West protests so much. <laughs> Germany, Germany needs to wait a little bit until they see, you know, the, the, French, the French Revolution is, is a success, then they follow it up. <laughs> Just like with this, you remember the student revolution yeah. in 1968, yeah? The Germans waited, you know, until 1969 they, they started. <laughs> they, need, they, they first need to see if it is working. <laughs> and then they follow it. <clears throat> yeah. Think about, you know, I mean, what is important in your life and then make the decision. And that is for all the people who are going to leave within the next few days, yeah? 
If you think meditation or practice is important in your life, then make it the first priority. You don't start anything in the day before you haven't meditated. Yeah? So you get up and you, the first thing, yeah, before even brushing, you know, brushing your teeth or, or making your face, yeah? because then all these thoughts are coming and what you have to do next. No, you go and sit first. Yeah? For at least 45 minutes or for an hour. Yeah? And then you can do the thing. Yeah? And then you go and start and do the things that need to be done. Yeah? I mean, go to work. And the moment you come back from work, before you go, yeah? and go shopping on the market you know, for your food, you know? first of all, you sit down. And let everything you know, that, is, that has happened during the day, let it pass. Don't think about it. Hmm? And then do a short reflection. What happened? Hmm? When I meet that person, you know, what kind of feelings? When I, when I had, you know, when this person said this to me, what kind of feeling? Don't judge it, yeah? I mean, that is the daily reflection. When I woke up, you know, with what kind of thoughts did I wake up? Because that, from just this thought or this dream that w was there, yeah? I mean, that can color our whole day, yeah? And we don't notice it unless we don't do reflection. And I told you before, reflection makes us actually human beings, yeah? Not robots, yeah? But it's better, nicer to be a robot, you know? Yeah? I mean, we just set our, you know, we set everything in motion and then dream about, you know, the rest of our life, yeah? <clears throat> while we walk, you know, we dream about this. While we, while, while we washing up, we dream about that, yeah? Or we worry about this, or we worry about that, yeah? Instead of being with what, whatever we are doing, being in the present moment, yeah? And the daily reflection, actually, uh, and you, you should use it now and, and, uh, and try it out to see it. I mean, it also works here in the monastery, yeah? <clears throat> shows us what we are doing, shows us the results of our action. And don't judge it, yeah? And don't try to control it. Just look what it is doing and show your heart what it is doing until the heart says, no, I'm not interested. Yeah? Because every time I do this, you know, I have bad results. Yeah? And then the heart lets go. Yeah? As I explained to you before, the heart cannot, we cannot make the heart let go. Yeah? I mean, we can control our life to a certain extent, but the heart still longs for it. Yeah? Even if, you know, if, even if our mind knows it is not the right thing to do, you know, the heart still longs for it, yeah? <clears throat> but when we show the heart that this thing, you know, that we so much like, you know, so much <clears throat> want, yeah, is something that, that really reaps bad results, then the heart, once the heart understands it, let's go. It doesn't want it anymore. Yeah? But this reflection is very difficult, yeah? I mean, you do it one day, two days, three days, and then you forget about it. Yeah. Because that is undermining the power of the kilesas, and whatever undermines the power of the kilesas, the kilesas try to hide. They put it somewhere in a dark corner, yeah? <clears throat> and we don't see it anymore. <clears throat> so, so keep so it up. So I need to understand how uh, the daily reflection will undermine power of you, When you do something, yeah, you, do, you don't think about what to do, you know, I mean, you just say, you know, you, you just see, okay, I need to go to the market, yeah, yeah? or I need to go shopping, yeah? and you don't see the results, then you, you get your clothes or you get your, your food, you know, and, but you never, t you never look at the results of your shopping, yeah, or of the eating. Hmm? So you don't see it. You just follow, yeah? Just like a robot, you know, somebody tells you, go here, you know? Just like we tell children, yeah, go, go there and buy, buy me this, you know, and then they come back and, you know, and bring, bring us this, yeah? <clears throat> so this voice in our head tells us, you know, what to do, yeah? And this is, these are the kilesas, yeah? Do this, like this, don't like this, you know? You need to go against this or you need to go against that, yeah? And we just do it. Just like, you know, just like somebody tells us, you know, what to do, yeah? You, you don't like if you, yeah? I don't know if you're married, but if your husband constantly tells you what to do and what not to do, yeah? 
You wouldn't like that very much, eh? <laughs> so these kilesas do, yeah? And then we go through the day, you know, what kind of thought did I have in the morning? What did I do then? Yeah? If you can't remember, we just skip to the next point. Yeah? And then, yeah, what did I do then? You know, when I was eating, what were the results of my eating? Then we see, actually we see that we overate, yeah? And that we didn't feel well after eating, yeah? Or we felt well, yeah? Because we ate the right, right kind of food or we ate the wrong kind of food, we don't normally see this. Yeah? And this reflection shows it to us, yeah? or shows the heart to it. Yeah? And then over the time, n not, not one day, you know, over the time, over half a year, over one year, over two years, the heart understands what is good for it and what is not good for it. And once the heart, you know, sees what is good for it and not good for it, you know, it lets go of the things that are not good for it and, and tries to improve on the things that is good for it. Yeah. The, the, the basic problem is that we don't know. We don't know the results of our actions, be it the speech or be it, you know, be it the bodily action. Yeah. And we don't know the results of our thinking, yeah. Because it does, it does seem to cloud the mind. It does seem to color the mind. Yeah, the, the kind of thought, you know, when you just realize this kind of thought, you know, and then you see the day passing by, and then you see always this thought or this memory or this dream creeping in or this worry creeping in. Yeah, then you see how it colors the whole day, and you don't really see it clearly. Yeah, <clears throat> and that's why the first thing in the morning we, we should get rid of all the thoughts. So that, that they don't, cannot cloud us, you know, and then we have, a clear, <coughs> we have a clear memory or we have clear thoughts, you know, a clear mind, clear chitta, you know, and then we can start doing things. Yeah? And when we start doing things with a clear mind, we get a little bit more sati in our life, yeah? a little bit more awareness. Yeah? Otherwise, we just follow. Yeah? And when you look at your life, you just follow. Yeah? Because you think it is you who want it these things, yeah? No? They always tell you, it's me, it's me, I want, I want, I want, I like, I don't like, I don't like, huh? No? Yeah? They're very clever, yeah? Until we say, hey, who are you to tell me that? Then, suddenly, then they are suddenly very quiet. <laughs> Because they don't, they don't announce themselves as the Kilesas, yeah? They're very quiet, you know? Who are you to tell me, you know, that I'm tired? And then they're quiet. They never answer. <clears throat> Only, you know, if this question, you know, like, what is pain? And then they answer, you know. Oh, this pain comes because you're sitting too long in meditation, yeah? When you sit in front of your TV, you, you never get pain in your legs, huh? <laughs> huh? And that's how we slowly understand, yeah? I mean, the more, the more rigorous we do that, uh, the daily reflection, the more we understand what is going on, what is driving us in our life. Yeah? When, when, when Lung Po himself did it, you know, I mean, it was pretty much the first thing you know, that I did huh? <clears throat> in my life. Yeah? I mean, as a scientist, you know, you know I mean, your, your daily calendar is full of You know, this, this, yeah, this, at that time you'd meet this person, you'd meet that person, you'd meet that person. And I never had time for my friends, yeah. And then after two years, I, had, I didn't have any appointments anymore because I saw all these appointments are a waste of time, yeah. They, they don't bring any satisfaction in my life, they don't change anything, yeah. So when, when a friend called, her, do you have time? Yes, no. When? No? <laughs> Whenever, yeah? That's how we see, yeah? How we see what we are doing in our life. And that's why this reflection, I mean, actually it's the first, <clears throat> first part of our investigation, yeah? It doesn't investigate, you know, in the real sense, yeah? it doesn't investigate the khandas, but it investigates what we are doing and why we are doing and what results it has. Yeah? So that's why it is very important. And the same thing, when you come back from home, it is very important to get rid of all these things that happen during the work. Yeah? Until the mind is clear 
And then you can just look, yeah? And if you can't remember what, what, what kind of conversation you had at, at the meal time, you know, with your colleagues, yeah? I mean, then just skip it, yeah? And just, just tell yourself, okay, tomorrow, you know, if something bad happens, yeah? You meet somebody, you meet your boss, you know, and he scolds you, you know, and anger comes up, yeah? Then, then just tell yourself, okay, that was a bad situation. Let me have more sati on that. No? Not trying to be like this, not trying to be like that. Just the only, the only thing that we do is let me have really sati what actually is happening because in my reflection I really didn't see it. Yeah? I only saw my reaction. Yeah? I didn't see my thoughts that went into when he was calling me or when he was you know, appearing in front of me. I didn't see the feelings that were there or I didn't see the thoughts or the memories that were there. So, the, the solution to the problem is, let me have more sati in this situation, tomorrow I, yeah, and in the morning you say, okay, yeah, after you've done your meditation, okay, tomorrow, t today I meet my boss, let me have sati. And over the time it will work, yeah. But don't expect it to work, you know, that day, yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes it takes months, yeah, or even years, you know, to get at a certain very specific problem. And then, yeah, once you get to the point, then you have to laugh, yeah, because there actually wasn't anything, yeah. It has nothing to do with the situation, it has something to do with your views and opinions that you had about how this, you know, how this should be, yeah. But the Kilesas will not give you the, the insight, yeah. You have to fight for this insight, okay. And on the weekends, if you don't have anything to do, you know, do, do three or four or five hours of meditation, yeah? No, I need to relax, yeah? <laughs> relax from what, you know? Relax is, you know, meaning the kilesa, yeah? I mean, relaxation is actually when we sit in meditation and really the mind gets completely calm. That's when we actually relax and that's where we give the body yeah, the time to heal itself. Constantly straining the body, constantly thinking about this, constantly, you know, doing this or doing that, yeah? I mean, going for a fun ride or so on, yeah? I mean, that doesn't give the body time to heal itself, yeah? No? But we don't know better, yeah? I mean, nobody told us in school, yeah? <laughs> we have to come to a Buddhist monastery to learn about these things, yeah? <clears throat> Isn't it amazing, you know, we call ourselves human beings, but actually we are, we are more like zombies, you know, running after our desires. Yeah. When, you, when you go back to India, look, yeah, look at the people. Yeah. Just take yourself off for a moment. Huh? When you sit in the office or when, when, you know, when you sit at the marketplace, and then just, you know, without, with the Buddha in mind, you know, just look at the people. Yeah. It's crazy. It's absolutely, I mean, it's, it's absolutely crazy. Yeah? And when, when you even watch back, you know, from high above, you know, you see them running to their car in the morning, you know, driving to B, you know, and then in the, in the evening driving back to A, you know, and they're running, you know, constantly. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, doesn't make any sense. But that's, yeah, I mean, we are so used to it, so we don't, we never reflect about it. That's why this daily reflection is, is one of the keys, you know, when we go home, to keep, you know, to keep a little bit of meditation going. Yeah? And you forgot it, Christian? Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> it's difficult, yeah? yeah? And in the beginning, it is really difficult. It takes, it takes a lot of time, yeah? So... Don't expect it to go within five minutes, yeah? But over the, t over the years, when we do it every day, yeah? It becomes faster and faster and faster. And in the end, you know, it is within five minutes, we just see a movie of the whole day. And that is, that is amazing, yeah? We just see... Yeah? And you instantly, in the heart, instantly recognize what is good and what is not good, yeah? We don't have to think about this, what is good or not good. Because that would only distract us, yeah? 
But it's very difficult not to judge, yeah? And this is something that we have to learn. We should not judge when we do the reflection. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. So, last questions here. Yeah. Reduce your working hours and do more for your chitta. Huh? Yeah. So, anybody has any questions? So, uh, what is the seat of chitta? I mean, it is the anatomical heart. What? The Where does the chitta stays? Is it the anatomical heart? Or... No. That would then, if the anatomical heart dies, then the chitta would die. <laughs> so, sir, so, well, uh, where where does it uh, have the seat? I mean, we call in in Thai you call it the chitta, the heart, and the mind. Yeah, but the heart and the mind are actually not the chitta itself; they are just aspects of the chitta. You th you can think about the chitta as a diamond. Yeah. When you look at the diamond, you only see the faces. You know, the, the faces and they reflect certain aspects of the diamond, but they don't show you the true nature of the diamond. So as long as you have these faces, and this is exactly our character, yeah? Each, each person has a, has a different diamond, you know, and each person has different, different faces, so he has a different character. And so when we look at the chitta of another person, I mean, all what we see are the faces of the yeah? We don't see the true nature. Yeah? We only see the, we can only experience the true nature when we dive completely deep into it. Yeah? But when, when you ask about the real location of the chitta, it is exactly, you know, very close to the heart. And once, once you, you have the sati, you know when there is an intention brewing up in the chitta, and you you observe it, you, you have enough sati to observe it, then it pushes the physical heart, and then the physical heart starts to pump, yeah, and then thought is created, yeah. When the chitta is completely quiet, the, the heart goes down. There's no there's no movement, that's very, very, very calm, yeah. And when you go into Apana Samadhi, there's no heart movement at all, and there's no breath movement. So the chitta sits exactly between the lungs and the most, these two most fundamental yeah, organs that we have. Yeah? And that's from that, you know, I mean, it's just like a driver who sits on, on the accelerator and the, and the brake, you know, and the steering wheel. Yeah? I mean, he doesn't sit in the back of the car because he couldn't drive it. Yeah? So he has to be very close to the engine, very close to the steering wheel and the accelerator to be able to drive the car. And so is the chitta very located to the things that drive actually this human body. And that is the heart and the lungs, yeah? And the heart and the lungs are, of course, connected yeah, to each other. Yeah? So it, if you don't know what the chitta is brewing up, then at least you can look at the physical heart, because when the physical heart starts to move, then the chitta already brewed something up, yeah? So then when, when we look at the physical heart, yeah, for, for most people who cannot have access to their chitta and know what is going on there, they, they at least can look at the physical heart and see, hey, something is coming up, yeah? Before the anger comes up, you know, it starts to boil, you know, and then it comes up, yeah? And then you know something is brewing up in the chitta and then you say, budu, 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 and the heart goes down, <laughs> yeah? Very simple. And, and there's nothing, you know, I mean, everybody of us can see it, you know. If he wants to, yeah, he can experience this thing, yeah. <clears throat> but we are so interested in other things, yeah. We are so interested in whatever it is, artwork or technique or, you know, I mean, or politics or whatever. We, we never look at, you know, how this, how this amazing machine is working. Yeah? And we could, could see it all. If, yeah, we would curb down our attention, uh, on our, our thoughts. Can you elaborate faster, for example, yeah. for something which is completely in the past? But memory comes before. Mm -hmm. So the, the chitta, you know, the killers has brew up a memory, and, and the heart reacts on this memory, there's a reaction, there's a feeling 
coming together with this memory. Yeah? But the memory itself doesn't in, inside the chitta, uh, doesn't inside the heart. Yeah? The memory itself is a memory, but then the re reaction yeah, towards this memory, that we like it or we don't like it, that starts to excite or pump up the heart. Yeah? So you have to see first, yeah? that's why I said sati. Yeah? I mean, sati is, is at lightning speed. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, our computer is very fast, you know, so our sati has to be very fast to get every mind moment, yeah? what is happening within the chitta. So you see, there's a feeling yeah? coming up, or there's a sensation that triggers that memory, yeah? and then there's a reaction, And the only thing that you see is after the reaction, you know, the, the heart is pumping up, yeah, in excitement or in anger or whatever it is, yeah. What? Yeah. Yeah, it's also, yeah, I mean, excitement can be positive or negative, yeah. I mean, when you, when you think about your next trip or to remember when you think about an exciting trip, you know, that you want to take, I mean, it's also beating up. Huh? Yeah, but th then you have to look. No, then you have to look what kind of. Well, you hoped about nice food <laughs> or whatever. Yeah, then you have to look at you know what kind of thoughts and memories are in there. Yeah? And then the moment you use Buddha, you know, and then you can ask, yeah, what kind of what came before. This is a very, that is a very valid technique or very important technique that sometimes when there is anger coming up, yeah, then we ask, okay, now, now we accept the anger and then when it dies down, we ask, what came before this anger? Yeah? What kind of thought? Yeah? And what came before this thought? Or what came before this memory? What kind of thought? Yeah? And then there was another memory. I mean, it rolls back, you know, I mean, normally, you know, Before the heart really heats up, yeah, I mean, it is an avalanche. There's a little stone that drops, and with each movement, you know, it takes on more snow. So it takes on more feelings, yeah, and an emotion is actually, you know, it is an avalanche. It is not one of the natural things, yeah. A feeling can come up, they're always coming up, yeah. A sensation come up, you know, it triggers a memory that has a very similar feeling to it. So it adds up, adds up, adds up, you know, until we, you know, it, it really pushes us up. Yeah? So, look at it, yeah? and roll back. Yeah? This is also an important technique if you want to understand what happened. Yeah? So, for instance, in, you know, if you sit in meditation, yeah, and it was, everything was wonderful, yeah? and then suddenly you get up, yeah? then you can roll back. What was the thought that got me up? Because uh, a thought is a thought, and it doesn't make us get up. Yeah? There must be an intention, you know, actually to get up. Yeah? So, what came? Yeah? What actually triggered, you know, to, to stop meditation? And so we can roll back everything in our life, yeah? And, the, and this reflection, the daily reflection, help us to see things, yeah? But this, this, uh, <clears throat> this rolling back of, you know, what actually triggered this, yeah? Helps us also. Yeah? So there are two methods that we can use even in our daily life to see what is really happening in the situation. Yeah, I mean, yes, but this is, it can be a lot of reasons, yeah? And I don't know <laughs> what is the reason, but, yeah? Yeah, that's what you have to investigate, yeah? It can be excitement for food, it can be afraid, you know, of, of meeting somebody, it can be, yeah, it can be lots of things, yeah? Yeah. Sometimes, uh, there, if I roll back, there is nothing. I sit in meditation and there is just one big impulse, just get up. <laughs> yeah, but what came before this getting up? Nothing. I was just well, when a big impulse came. Just don't say up. nothing. Just say that you couldn't see it. Yeah. <laughs> Because there is always something. Yeah. There is, when, when you look at getting up, yeah, mm -hmm. there is pain coming. So, the first thought is, That, that is not very comfortable. And then it's quiet for five minutes. Then the next thought comes up. That's, that's really not, uh, I really don't like this pain. But then it's quiet again. And then the next thought comes up after one minute. 
and then after half a minute, and then, after, and then, then constantly. And that brings us up. Yeah? So, I mean, if you see the first thought, if your sati is good enough, and then you say, no, I just stay, you know, I mean, now I have a very good object, yeah, then I just stay with the pain. Yeah? And then there's no getting up. Yeah? You have to find the first stone. Yeah? <clears throat> and it's not easy. Yeah? Because uh, we don't remember. Yeah? And that shows us that actually our memory is not ours. Because if we want to remember, you know, we don't remember. Yeah? And things that we don't want to remember, we remember. <laughs> huh? So, I mean, how can, we, how can we call this our memory? Yeah? And especially in cases, you know, where, where it shows the tactics of the kilesas, how they work, yeah? We don't remember. <laughs> But you can train yourself, okay, more sati. So the sitting, okay, I will, I will have sati how I get up, yeah? Just before the sitting you tell yourself, I want to have really sati, you know, what is going on every moment, you know, and how do I get up, yeah? My friend has a question. In the morning he heard... You Which speak. friend? Oh, he, he can... You, you don't speak English well? Yeah. No, he doesn't no, speak that well. Yeah. No, okay, I so... For him. So he asked, uh, in the morning he heard uh, you explaining someone that at home you should do samadhi and reflection, but not investigation. No. When, when you're at home, I mean, you have... You, you have so much time. I mean, of course, if you spend eight hours, you know, eight hours of meditation on the weekends, then you can, you, you can put in one hour of, ref, uh, of, uh, of uh, investigation, of a super investigation, yeah. But normally, you, you, it's enough time, you know, just to calm down, you know, from, from the state of the mind, yeah. So the most important thing, you know, in our daily life is first to calm, to make the mind clear, Because if, you, if the mind is not clear, it cannot investigate. Yeah? We can think, but this thinking doesn't solve the problem. We can think about the body you know, being so ugly, so disgusting, so useless. Yeah? That doesn't change a thing. Yeah? We have to see it with our inner eyes. Yeah? In, for, if, for, in order to see it with our inner eyes, you know, the shit has to be completely calm. What? When I'm sitting in meditation and I have some problems at work or how to solve some things, and after I sit in meditation for like 20, 30 minutes, and then if I think about the problem, I sometimes find the answers. Yes, when, yeah, I mean, that can happen, but don't do it during the meditation. Yeah? I'm trying to, but I feel like because I'm so calm. Yes. And <clears throat> my mind has now become clear. Sometimes you see it. But then you have to tell yourself, yeah? I will remember it after the meditation, now I do my meditation. If you don't remember it after the meditation, it was just a thought, yeah? If it was really an insight, you will remember it. If it was important, you will remember it. Don't, don't come and write down the notes, yeah? Because that means it is not real insight, yeah? And the solution, there's only one solution to the problem, yeah? to every problem, that is having sati. Be, be, you know, in the present moment and know what is going on. Yeah? And then you know what, what is the right response. Yeah? Even if that response means there is no response. Yeah? <clears throat> like I find that a challenge sometimes at work. There are so Speak up a little bit. I find that there is a challenge at work sometimes because there are so many priorities and projects Now at work we have chats and we have phone calls and we have emails, so things are popping up all the time. People are messaging you in chats yeah. and this project and you want know, to come to this call. So I feel like you're multitasking is required yes. at work. Yeah. So it's very hard to be present and um, Yes, I know. On everything going on at the same time. Yes. That's why we use the daily reflection to see what is going on in these moments, yeah? 
And we don't try, we don't try to solve anything in the reflection. We just show the heart, yeah? Did you see it? Did you understand it? And the heart says no. Yeah. Because it, you know, sometimes it is still close, you know, we have to open it really up, yeah? And when we open up the heart, you know, I mean, even, even though I say it so easily, then all the pain, all the anger that is stored up in the heart, you know, we, we constantly, you know, barricade our heart, will come out. So we will have to accept it, you know, And then, you know, let it go, yeah? We caged it all in, yeah? I mean, we stuffed down so much, you know? I mean, the, the moment you open it, boom! You know, it seems to be able to explode, yeah? Just let it explode, just let it out, yeah? Don't try to solve problems, yeah? The only thing, you know, you try to is, let me have sati in this moment what is going on, yeah? Work is the most difficult, especially if the work, you know, considers the, and we have to think, yeah? When Lumpa went to work, you know, I mean, he was riding on his bicycle, you know, he, every moment he was present, you know, very mad, mad, then he put his bicycle away and went to his office, you know, and then eight hours later, when he took back his bicycle, you know, I mean, that's, that's where sati, eight hours there was no sati. Until, you know, until I, I, I really got, you know, some breaks in it. You know, I had to make some breaks, yeah? Huh? I saw that, you know, eight hours. You know, what happened in this eight hours? I had no idea. <laughs> Just like, you know, a robot, you know, I mean, the moment he goes to his desk, you know, whoops. I mean, there's no more sati, there's just robot, you know, da 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 yeah? Until, un until I could, you know, cut it down, yeah? Into, into one hour, you know, and then, ah, coffee, yeah, okay, now let's have sati. Okay, just calm coffee, not talking to anybody else, just having the coffee, drinking coffee, being aware of, you know, or if it is tea, you know, being aware of it, no? And that gives, you know, that, that gives us some impetus, yeah? <clears throat> and then you will notice, ah, and then you start to notice other things that happen, yeah? And then you become more and more aware, yeah? The problem is that we are not aware of what we are doing, yeah? We just do it. Because nobody told us to be aware of what we are doing. Everybody tells us to be mindful, yeah? Be mindful, yeah? Have your mind full, yeah? Nobody treats... Have your mind empty. <laughs> huh? Because that is sati, mind empty. The mind is not... Quite, Occupied with anything. It knows what is going on, yeah? I mean. Okay, this, answer, this question answered, or does he have more questions? Uh, then we have a general question mm -hmm. uh, that we can't finalize on the Parikamma. So, some, in some situations, like sitting, uh, breathing seems to be a better object, but while sleeping or cleaning, Buddha Buddha seems to be a better object. That's yeah, okay. It doesn't really matter as long as you don't change it within one sitting. Yeah? You can have one sitting with Buddha, one sitting with breathing, another sitting with Buddha, yeah? While sweeping, do Buddha, yeah? Because it is easier while, while, while washing up, you know, do Buddha, you know, because it is easier to keep your mind concentrated, yeah? And when you do sitting, you know, do, do, do breathing, yeah? No problem. Or, yeah, or you do it all the time, put with breathing in and over with breathing out. Yeah. You can. No. No, not changing in the same city. Yeah. 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 You set yourself the time, you know, and. Yeah. Put with breathing in, do with breathing out. More singing coming, and then I change to Buddha, 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 and then it makes me more concentrated. And then sometimes, and then I go back to the breathing, hmm. uh, with the Buddha. So, yeah, but no, it is, it, it's not perfect, yeah. So try to 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 calm it down on, you know, just just put with breathing in and do with breathing out. But of course, you know, there are some situations yeah, where it 
in the beginning we need a lot of crutches, yeah? I mean, just two crutches are not enough for us to learn to walk, yeah? <laughs> so, but no, yeah? I mean, the goal is to stay just with one, be it the Buddha or with the breath, yeah? And it normally, you know, when, when, you, when, when, when you really have some good concentration, I mean, even if you do put with breathing in and do with, breath, uh, do with breathing out, and the concentration becomes stronger, I mean, one, either the breath or the Buddha falls away. And then you just stay with the breath, and that is okay. Yeah? Or you just stay with the Buddha. Whatever, I mean, whatever your nature is. Yeah? For me, it was always the breath because I learned it with the breath. Yeah? So when the Buddha was falling away, I was staying with the breath. Yeah? <clears throat> But then you stay with the breath, yeah? And you see, you know, the heart becomes calm and calm and calm, yeah? Until, you know, there's no more breath, yeah? The breath stops. And then we get afraid. But come to this point before you get afraid. <laughs> What? Uh, is it correct uh, if doing anapan and after then doing investigation, and we can see the pain and it goes then, so... As, I mean, people, yeah. <laughs> we want to think, yeah? I mean, yes, for investigation we need thoughts, but we need thoughts, inquisitive thoughts. We need uh, to ask the right questions, yeah? We don't think about anything, you know? We need, you know, thinking to ask the question, what is pain, where is the pain, yeah? <clears throat> How does it feel, the pain? Is it constant? Is it, you know, permanent? Is it whatever, yeah? Is it changing, yeah? And then you look and observe, yeah? The question brings you to observe something, yeah? Once you, the chitta knows, yeah, you can ask another question. So where actually is this pain, yeah? And if you're really interested. And as I said, the only exception for doing samatha is the investigation of the pain if we cannot concentrate on our Buddha anymore or on the breath anymore. What do you want to investigate? Your mind is not yet calm enough. You can't even keep, you know, on the Buddha for 15 minutes without any kind of thought coming in. So how can you investigate something? Because for the investigation you have to stay on the same object, you know, observe this object and ask the right questions, you know, in order that It shows you, you know, what is going on. Yeah? Because we are impatient. We want to get results, yeah? Fast, yeah? But that's actually, you know, actually the opposite practice is all about patience. Yeah? Yeah, somebody smiled. <laughs> It's all about patience. It's all about observance. Yeah? It's not about trying to understand what is going on. Yeah? It's only about observance, yeah? watching, observing what is going on. Mm -hmm. The chitta is much smarter than we are. It will, when you give it the time to observe something, it will understand it on its own accord. Yeah? But if we come in with all our ideas that we have about this, you know, I mean, we'll never will know what the chitta knows. Yeah? So, I mean, these thoughts, these discursive thoughts are, are yeah, not helpful, yeah? And then you will be exhausted and you will, and if you do that for a year, you, you don't find any results, you know, doing that, and then you disrobe, yeah? It doesn't work, it doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work, yeah? I mean, in our life, thinking about a problem doesn't solve the problem, yeah? Saying something or doing something, yeah, solves the problem or creates problems, yeah. But thinking about something, you know, doesn't solve the problem, yeah. But we do it, we do it constantly. We can't even stop. Worrying about something doesn't help the situation to become better. Hmm? And we should not, as Buddhists, we should not worry about anything because we know or we hopefully know by now, that whatever happens to us is a result of our own actions. So we receive only the things that we have done. That's fantastic, yeah, you don't have to worry about anything, yeah? 
But we constantly worry. <laughs> worry that we run out. Worry that we get old and nobody looks after us. Worry about this, worry about that. Yeah? And then, in the end, you know, we worry about death, yeah? When we worry about death, where, where, where are we going to be reborn? Yeah? Doesn't help the situation, you still will be reborn, that's where your karma leads you. Yeah? <clears throat> okay? Understood? Yeah? Yes. Don't be impatient, yeah? I mean, be patient, you know? First, you know, first get your samatha so that you can clearly stay, you know, for at least 10 minutes on one object, you know, be it the breath or be it the Buddha, without any interruption. And then you can slowly, very slowly start investigation of the body, yeah? But not more, you know, if you can only stay for 10 minutes, not more than one hour a day. Yeah? It takes much more fun, you know, to do investigation, that's why we like it, yeah? But actually, when you do real investigation, it is very hard work, yeah? Because you, you really have to force, yeah? You have to force a concentration, you know, whatever you investigate on, and not letting the mind slip off into something else, yeah? You haven't realized it, you know, when you investigate one object, it slips, after three thoughts, it slips to another object, and then it slips to another, and, you know, while, while you do your investigation, I mean, you run around the world for one time, yeah? You can't stay on the same object, you know, how can you investigate something? Just like a mechanic, you know, I mean, who, who, who has to repair a car, he looks at the, who, he looks at the engine and after three, after three mo moments, you know, he watches this person, he watches that person, he will not understand what, where the problem is in the engine, huh? He has to concentrate on that, yeah? And his mind cannot go off, yeah? yeah. The what? Yeah. That's okay. I mean, that, that you can do. I mean, it, it requires a lot of concentration. Yeah? It is very helpful, very helpful for people who don't know that they have a body to realize that. Yeah? So they, 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 they take, you know, something like that, you know, and go from here to the next step. And the only thing when you do this is to get a sensation. When there is no sensation coming up, you just skip it and go to the next. Yeah. That, that is very helpful, you know. This you can do, yeah. There is no problem in doing this, yeah. <clears throat> just getting in contact. And when you do that for a long time, yeah, you will see in the beginning it's just, it's just the surface, yeah. But in the end, I mean, you really pierce down, yeah. And then, you know, you can actually investigate, when you pierce down and you can feel the brain, most people can't feel the brain, yeah? when you can feel the brain, then you can start and look at this, yeah? What is going on there? Yeah? So that, that, that is helpful, yeah? <clears throat> is there any way of getting rid of the ego? <sighs> yes. <laughs> yes. Investigation of the body gets half of gets rid of half of the ego, yeah, and then investigation of of, of thoughts and, and and memory gets gets rid of another half, you know, and then you have to battle the rest. It's all about, I mean. So where is ego? Like, is it abstract or? Don't don't even don't even bother to fight the ego because the ego is fighting the ego and boosting the ego. <laughs> What, who is fighting the ego? What we think is the ego, that's what we fight, and that's why how we boost it. Huh? That is not the way how to, yeah? We cannot, we cannot fight, you know, greed, or we cannot fight hatred, yeah? The only thing what we can do is not to give in to hate and not to give in to greed. But we have to fight the root, yeah? Yeah, the root is the body. Okay. Yeah? And then the root of the mental, you know, of the mental ego is sanya sankara, yeah? memory and thought. But you cannot investigate memory and thought until you have, have, not got, uh, have get, gotten rid of the body first. Yeah? 
So you have to get rid of the delusion about the body first, and then you're already in a stage, you know, where, yeah, where you don't come back, yeah? Just one that you can separate the self from the body. Then it sees. At that time, I mean, if you do samadhi, the ego already disappears. I mean, when there's no more thoughts and there, when there's no memory, there's no, there's no ego. There's nobody taking hold of the experience that you just have. I mean, that is how you can, yeah, but you don't get rid of it the moment, I mean, the moment you think the ego comes back, yeah. So you have to you have to find another way, you know, how to fight it, yeah? And and the way how to fight it is investigation of the five khandas. Because that's where the ego, the ego holds these five khandas as says, it's me, it's mine, it belongs to me, it's myself. Yeah? That's why we have to investigate any of these five khandas, yeah? To see that there is nothing like that in that khanda, it's just a khanda. That, that is the Western approach. How do I fight my ego? Yeah? The Buddhist approach is you fight the ego where the ego, you know, gets a source from. Yeah? Yeah? And the ego gets a source from the five khandas because that's where it believes it is. Yeah? So you investigate the five khandas, you know, cut off one khanda by another khanda, you know, and, and with that, you know, the ego automatically will be destroyed. Because it has no root, you know, I cannot suck it up anymore. There is no way how to fight the ego front to front, yeah? But you can let go of your views and opinions, you know, that is, yeah? Not to give in to your views and opinions, that is also, you know, getting lower and lower on the ego, yeah? I'm right, you know? Say, I'm not sure. Well, if you work, I, I'm not talking about working, yeah? Of course, if you, if you work, you know, you have to be sure, otherwise you're fine. <laughs> and if, if, you're not, if, you, if you're not right, you know, I mean, then you get a decrease in pay, yeah? <laughs> you understand what I mean, yeah? I'm talking only about practice, yeah? When you fight with your friends, you know, or your colleagues about this, yeah, then you can say, okay, yeah. I don't, I'm not sure if I'm right or wrong. Yeah. I mean, what does it matter anyway? Yeah. I think sometimes for me the ego comes in. Yeah, of course, it, that's where it comes in, with views and opinions, yeah. Huh? Yeah, hey, I feel like it's getting fresh. Hmm? I, I like it. it uh, I lived in Bavaria, it's a part of Germany, for, for quite a few years, yeah? And I like what they said, yeah? The Bavarians, the old, old Bavarians, uh, they were really born in Bavaria. And when, they, when somebody came, you know, and said, ah, this is like this, this is like this, yeah? And they said, okay, you're right, you're right, and I have my peace. <laughs> I really loved that, yeah? They really didn't put up with anything, you know. If you want to be right, you know, be right, you know. I have no problem with that, you know, and I'm at peace. <laughs> it's hard to maintain peace then. Yeah, of course, in our society, it's very hard not to have an opinion. If you have no opinion, you are called a weakling, yeah? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Don't consider what other people think, yeah? That's one way, you know, to, <clears throat> to get a peace of heart hmm? or peace of mind. Yeah? Whatever. You can't change other people's thoughts. You see how difficult it is to change your own thoughts? Huh? How can you change other people's thoughts? Yeah? They are not willing to. Yeah? Now you have the real experience, you know, to see that that is very difficult to change your own thoughts. Yeah? But you tell other people to change their thoughts, to change their views and opinions, yeah? It's impossible. We can change only ourselves. Yeah? But I really like that, that 
that saying from the from these old Bavarians. Yeah? You're right. You're right. Yeah, I have my peace. <laughs> I have my peace of mind. I don't bother about these things. <clears throat> Especially, you know, especially if they're really agitated, yeah, the others. In Laos as well, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, in Thai, in Thai there is also, you know, not everybody, you know, but the, the mentality is, yeah, they let other people do whatever they want to do and without being too much bothered. Sometimes they get bothered. <laughs> you, you don't see it so easily, yeah. But when you lived long enough in Thailand, you see when, when somebody gets angry. He still smiles, but he gets angry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, enough? No? No more questions? Good. So then, you know, for the people who leave on the 17th, have a nice trip back, you know, and don't forget, you know, set up your priorities, you know, and that makes you, yeah. Go in the right direction. Yeah. Whatever you want, you know. If you like in the hamster wheel, at least, yeah. Put some nice curtains, some nice pictures, you know, a sofa, you know, maybe a TV set, yeah. Oh. Uh-huh.